Welcome to the Pew Special Nighttime Edition with Kyoki, Superstar DJ Kyoki, that you. who is staying with us, is gracing us with the the pre, uh, the, uh, the groups. He came. He his, came this weekend to uh, DJ at Pacha at, for at Pacha, the masquerade. The masquerade, yes, and, and, and paid it tons really, of money. It was Scott great. paid him tons of money. I heard. It was good. <laughs> Scotto, paid him time he's, he's yeah. here for a week, so what are you planning on doing while you're here? I plan on visiting with you guys and um, maybe looking for an apartment to move back. Okay, okay you're going to move back to New York? So, yes, I am. Well, is that you hear her, heard her here first? On the, <laughs> on the pew, will on be the better. pew. Nightlife will be better. Kiyoki's okay, okay, back, I'm back, Ernie's back, we're all back. Yeah. Back, back, back. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback, it's a return! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I never left, so never it's not a couple. And then we'll make another picture, and another picture! <laughs> Some people never change, why, do they? <laughs> why, do you, why do you feel like moving back to New York? I feel like... like where uh, are you living well, currently? Yeah. Well, currently, I'm living in Austin, Texas. All right. I like it there, but... Um, oh, that's where that big, famous record producer, Greg Tanus lives. Who's yes. That? Who's that? Greg Tanus, who produced... Um, Let's not in, talk about that who, guy. Produced what's in with Kyoki? No, Kyoki, he did not. The remix. He did not. Kyoki, not the remix. No, I did not do the remix of my song. What's in? But uh, in what's out? What it's all about? He I knows know what, what the kids all like. Everybody wants to know about that. Then they can, they can email me at yes. Mr. Kyoki at gregtanus.com. <laughs> Mr. Kyoki at gmail.com. M R K E O K I at gmail.com. You can ask me those personal questions about. And well, we, we believe Caboose. you, we, we have a list of personal questions Greg here Caboose. from from you, the viewer, from you, you, <laughs> the viewer, um, viewers, um, out there in television land. Well, my agent did see these questions first. Thank but you. first, a word from our sponsor. sponsor. And now a word from our sponsor. What's in, what's out, what it's all about, I know what. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome We're back. To selling the pew. out. We're selling out. We're sellouts. A bunch of sellouts. It's the it's the Michael, Ernie, and Kyoki show. With Kyoki in town for a couple special of special edition. Of special the edition pew. of the pew nighttime version. Look at the dark the light nighttime. We're all up See late. Darkness. Past our bedtimes. Past our Rising curfews. <laughs> past our curfews. All doing, we've had is coffee. Doing though. all legal drugs, legal substances, caffeine. The only Coke in the house is Coca Cola. Coca Cola. And um, boy, oh boy, do we have questions. Sharon Bonanno wants, oh, oh, wants to know if I was your first real boyfriend. Yes, you were. Well, that's not a good answer. Yes, yes I was. Yes, was. <laughs> yes, I was. The end. Yes, you was, <laughs> and I've never been the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you think of Wilm? Uh, Andrea Christine wants to know what you thought of Wilmer's uh, Wilmer Valderrama's performance as you in the movie. I personally thought The Rock should have played me. Well, we know we know that The Rock <laughs> should have played The Rock because The Rock does look much more like. Although I've heard that uh, that Wilmer has a nice package. So package of what? I don't think The Rock would have been a good person to play you because so. I was always I was. It, the Rock is Hawaiian though, isn't he? But he was also very tough. No, he's I was like always, half, I always felt like I had to be Maybe half tough. black, half Hawaiian, I think. Well, there's nothing I was always trying to protect black. you, Michael, so I yeah. felt like The Rock would have given me more like you know, The Rock, his I father was Rocky Johnson. I walked around thinking I was as big as The Rock. That's the same. Um, <laughs> we love The Rock. <laughs> we love The Rock. And also, I don't and have, his father, I Rocky have, Johnson, who was one of my personal wrestling heroes from the 1970s. And, and Rocky Aoki. We like, we like him, he owns Benihana. That's, um, oh, I don't like Benihana. We don't like Benihana. We don't like Benihana. Okay. Is um, that the one where they throw the knives in oh, the air? Oh, oh, oh. Andrew Christine also wants to know if you really had sex with Julie Jules. That's not fair to ask. Julie's not here. I don't no kiss kissing. Well, we're not asking Julie. I don't kiss and tell. Okay. On to the next question. That question. means yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, that's that's all that's all the questions. That's all the questions. That's that's all, all, that's that's all the questions that we have time for to end the view. But we what what the viewers really want to know is what's next. What's next for DJ Well, Kyoki? I think people want to know when you're coming out with a new record. Yes, or a what's new, next? Well, that's know, what I just have, said. Isn't I that mean, what I just said? What's don't next? Really make records anymore. So I have a new vinyl coming out, and actually, it's my little brother Miko's album. Oh, on Kiyoki Records coming out when? in December, I think. And then I have a new my own vinyl coming out in February that's on awesome. Kiyoki Records as well. 
And what so, is it going to be? Is it going to be remixes or original It's going to be original music. I'm doing it with Decoding Jesus in Los Angeles. And oh, I heard those songs. Those songs are actually really good. Thank you. It's, it's our new album. Well, you heard it was the last album oh, last year. Well, they were good. So we're working on If they album. were good before, they're going to be good next time. And I'm working on something for Cocoon Records. And I'm working for Professor Scott Bass label. Going to get all wrapped up in that? All wrapped up in Cocoon Records, yes. And I'm then I'm going to go to Berlin then later next year for a tour. Another thing I'm wondering about your music. Oh, everybody's music. trying to get us to go to Berlin. We've been got, oh, yeah. you inundated, inundated with offers to go to Berlin. But I can't go because of my curfew. I'm wondering, how many albums do you think you've recorded at this point? I've done career? about, well, I've, I've released about 18 albums. And um, like seven or eight of them are all self-produced. And the other ones are mixed albums. That's awesome. When I was in prison... <laughs> Kyoki's it's like one for every year of your prison. Inevitable yeah. Alienation was a very popular tape. Yeah. We, 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 did, we never, to listen to we my, never my got tapes. past um, uh, cassette tapes in prison. And in, uh, Inevitable Alienation You can play a, them in there? Yes. That's cool. And that was a very popular tape in, in prison. What did they like about it? Uh, I don't know. Was, and, and, and then Disco Death Race 2000 was awesome. I think that what I liked about those records was that they were... At least for me, they were really fun to listen to when I was at the gym working out, like mm, on the treadmill yeah. or doing. I get that. A lot, a lot of strippers. A lot of strippers email me and they tell me they like it in the strip clubs too. The stripper stamp of approval. The approval. stripper they stamp of approval. Kiyoki, superstar DJ. They do. They like dancing to it and stripping to it. And we will be having coming back with more of Kiyoki in the next episode. But for now, this is the end of the pew. Bye. Thank you. Everybody. Bye. Bye.